Hello, in this video I would like to create USB or Wi-Fi device and with that device I can convert any USB wire device into wireless device. What I mean by that? I would like to create device in which I can plug in some kind of USB device, even USB storage, USB uh, Xbox controller or something like that and that device to be seen or Wi-Fi to my main PC. With this, you can uh, you can create virus controller from USB controller and stuff like that. I would try to do that with software called uh, Virtual Here. Software should uh, have a server and client side, and of course, I would use Raspberry Pi for this project. So. Raspberry Pi uh, will act as a USB server for uh, virtual here and I will install a client app on Windows and Linux PCs to check uh, is it working. With this uh, it would be very easy to have one for example USB authorization dongle and you can attach it to both PCs. So the use case for these implementations are endless, so let's begin. First, I would like just to download all the necessary uh, softwares from, from, uh, from Virtual here. So let's start with server side. If you just go to the uh, virtualhere.com and go to the USB servers, Linux USB servers, you have a list. Here we have generic USB here, USB C, uh, server bundles, uh, builds, and here we can extract this uh, USB server for Linux ARM version. So basically this one. But then after some investigation, I found that there's a virtual USB server optimized for Pi4 which is exactly built optimized for my version of Raspberry Pi. So I would like to check is this working. So I will click on it and I would like to save this file. Save file in downloads folder and click save. Next I would like to download the client app. And because right now I'm on uh, Windows uh, Windows PC, I would like to download client app for Windows 10. So let's click on uh, virtual here, client for Windows 64-bit. So let's click on this, save file, save. Let's now just try to run this client uh, installation. And for our downloads folder, now we have two files that we download. Let's double click on our client uh, client installation. And basically that is all. Now we have client installer. We can install that client as a service. But for this demonstration, I would delay this process just to see is everything else working. Now. Uh, please take your SD card from your Raspberry Pi and attach that uh, that SD card to your PC so that we can install the latest version of Raspbian on it. After uh, that is done, please open your Raspberry Pi imager and now select OS by clicking on Choose OS and we would like to have default uh, Raspberry Pi OS. So click on that. Now you should click on storage and select uh, our newly inserted SD card. Now we want to go inside our uh, Raspberry Pi Imager advanced settings by pressing Control Shift X. We need to do this because uh, I don't want to have uh, any uh, keyboard, mouse or monitor attached to my Raspberry Pi. So. Uh, at the installation, I want to configure two things. I want to enable SSH so that I can remotely connect to Raspberry Pi, uh, which will run in headless mode. 
bit headless, I mean I will not attach the monitor, uh, mouse or keyboard so that I can control Raspberry Pi over SSH and I can I can change uh, its host name. This isn't necessary, but it's nice to have. So uh, let's uh, select set uh, host name. I will just change this uh, host name to, for example, phub or hub p and I will enable uh, SSH communication and I will just set password for p user of and I will give some kind of password here. Because I would like to run it uh, without Ethernet, so only in Wi Fi, I would add Wi Fi credentials, so Wi Fi name and password. And that is all. So, hostname, enable SSH, set the default password, and configure Wi Fi. And click on save. Now we can press right and click on yes. Now we wait. Now we have our Raspberry Pi OS installed on our SD card. Now we can just click on continue and eject the SD card from our PC. Plug inside our Raspberry Pi and we just now need to add power to our Raspberry Pi. So basically just one cable. Of course, now we need to wait a couple of minutes just for initial boot of Raspberry Pi. So the first time installation, setting up file system, setting up uh, our, our Raspberry Pi OS, and then we can SSH. So give it a couple of minutes and then try to SSH to Raspberry Pi. From Windows side to SSH, uh, I like to use uh, application that is called Putty. So with this application, I'm connecting from uh, from Windows over SSH. So it's pretty simple. You just need to select connection type SSH. Here we need to input our uh, username for our Raspberry Pi and our and our host name. So for in our case, our host name is AppPi. And this should be enough if everything is booted up. So let's try. This is great sign. Uh, we need to set to this connection. Yes. And as you can see, we are now asked for our password. Enter here the password that you uh, edited inside advanced configuration inside uh, Raspberry Pi Imager. And after that, you should be logged in your Raspberry Pi Hub. Now, first things first, always do the update. So, first command is sudo apt update. And let's wait a couple of minutes. Next one uh, should be upgrade. Because with the first command, we just update the repository so that Raspberry Pi knows that there are some updates. With upgrade, we will actually do the update of our packages. Okay, but there isn't any, so we can continue with our installation. We need a Linux USB server. And as we download it, we need, we would like to use this one. But there is better way to get this executable directly here. And that is by simply uh, clicking on right click, uh, copy link, and in our Raspberry Pi, we should just create one folder with mkdir, and we will call this folder hub. Going into hub folder and just with wget paste the link and click enter. 
Mm. Now, here we have our our folder. Let's then now just check uh, permissions and let's add the permission so that folder this folder is runnable. We'll do that by typing sudo chmod and we would like to give access to execute to all users for this this file. Now let's try to run this file with option h for help. And we have pre uh, pretty much everything that we need here. Let's run this this application in the background. Permission deny. Let's run it with the sudo. Okay. So now, right now, our uh, virtual here is running in the background on our Raspberry Pi. And you see the prompt that I'm now getting from a <coughs> virtual client. So because I used optimized uh, optimized version of the software for Raspberry Pi, this software is basically locked, so that I can to, so that I, I need to purchase license if I want to use this one. So let me just check if we just try to run it now. Can we do that? So <clears throat> we have detected our Raspberry Pi hub, but let me try now just to connect uh, to connect USB dongle for my uh, wireless mouse. Will this be available? Mm -hmm. So we see this one here, but can I use this? Use this device? Okay. Okay. So I cannot use this filter here client with, with the optimize for Raspberry Pi and that is basically said right here but I just didn't read it carefully so let's try let's try with the generic one so first I would like just to stop the current execution so let's do exactly that uh, with pgrep I would like to search for this one. So for this. Mm -hmm. And I have that task. And now I actually can just kill. And now if you go back to our client, we shouldn't see our Raspberry Pi anymore. So let's now remove everything from this folder. And let's use our widget to get the other link. So go to uh, generic and use this link. So a generic USB server for Linux ARM. Copy link, copy link, copy link to the putty side and download this implementation. Now, again, let's do the same procedure by sudo chmod a plus x our file and let's run our executable with b options for background and of course add sudo before check again our USB. Mm -hmm and our Raspberry Pi is found. Click OK. Now go to the Raspberry Hub, select your USB receiver, use this device. Device is in use. This USB receiver is my uh, USB mouse. And let's see, can I use it? It's working. So I'm now using the uh, USB mouse that is a, uh, that is currently plugged in our Raspberry Pi, and this is a pretty cool implementation. Here we are using complete software, so the complete software for from virtual here client and server implementation. But maybe this is a great solution to create your own DIY uh, home KVM. 
so for example you can plug in uh, everything to raspberry pi i mean uh, keyboard monitor and mouse and then share that with multiple devices that would be excellent uh, implementation for my use case or you can sh for example share some uh, USB license file, license dongle with multiple users. But for now, let's try one more thing. Let's try to uh, send Xbox controller over over Wi-Fi. So I will stop using this device. Switch to my regular mouse, and I will now insert. Uh, insert insert Xbox wire controller to our Raspberry Pi and it's seen here as exactly that so Xbox Series X uh, wired controller I will use this device and now I will check is it working so if I press yeah exactly it's working now I will try to run a couple of games with uh, this setup and to uh, watch for the latency and check is this viable source. I'm guessing that this may be a bit laggy and if you want optimal performance you will for example need to pay the license for it which, which I agree completely or you can uh, figure out how to create your own solutions by uh, creating your own uh, server and client app for something like this either way this is the great solution and it has a bunch of use cases even for, for something like this or just uh, creating wireless devices from wired devices so thanks for watching and see you in the next one